good morning, everybody, and welcome to IGTV. IGTV, excuse me. And we have on the program with us this morning uh, Craig Floyd, the CEO of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. And we've got our hands full today, Craig. Uh, uh, Tanya apparently has given us a pretty heavy schedule in front of us. So let's get right off on it, all right? Uh, we've got the gala report. Why don't you hit that one right off the top? Well, the, uh, the celebratory uh, gala for the 20th anniversary of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial was uh, held on October 12th, and uh, it was just a, a wonderful celebration. We had so many of our uh, old friends and, and new friends that we've uh, uh, assembled uh, for that wonderful affair. Uh, we had two of the uh, daughters, uh, just a very poignant story, uh, when we dedicated the memorial 20 years ago, Joe. Uh, we invited these two young girls, uh, the daughters of a West Virginia state trooper who had been killed in the line of duty. His name was William Phillips. And his two daughters, while we were building the memorial, uh, sold their toys and sent us uh, the money so that their father could be permanently remembered on a national memorial. And I never forgot that story. And uh, we asked those two girls, they were age six and eight at the time, Heather and Laura Phillips, uh, we asked them to come on dedication day and actually uh, present two red roses to President and Mrs. Bush when they made the first visit to the memorial and actually placed those roses on the memorial walls as a formal act of dedication. And uh, those two girls uh, were in our memories again when we had our 20th anniversary. We invited them back along with their mother. And uh, sure enough, they, they were excited to be there. And uh, that was just a wonderful moment, just one example of the many people who came back after 20 years uh, to help us celebrate the 20th anniversary of the National Memorial honoring our fallen law enforcement heroes. Um, we, many other highlights that evening. Michael Chertoff was our uh, chairman of the gala. Uh, Michael Chertoff, of course, is the former Secretary of Homeland Security. He served for four years in that role under President Bush, and uh, he was with us, uh, uh, gave a wonderful speech, talked about uh, his uh, years as uh, head of Homeland Security and all the brave men and women who served under him uh, as part of Homeland Security, the largest law enforcement agency in, in the country. Um, we also had uh, several celebrities with us. Uh, Richard Belzer, uh, the star of Law & Order SVU, uh, was our MC for the evening, did a fabulous job, uh, along with Vince D'Onofrio, uh, uh -huh. the star of Law & Order Criminal Intent. Sure. Uh, and the star of a new show on TV, on NBC, actually. Um, but Vince was there with us. Uh, he kicked things off. He is our national spokesperson for the National Law Enforcement Museum. So it was great to have Vince back with us. Um, and then interestingly, and related to those two, we honored Dick Wolf, the creator of the Law & Order uh, television franchise, with our Distinguished Service Award for 2011. So that was one of the highlights of the evening. Dick Wolf was filming couldn't be with us in person, did a wonderful video greeting, uh, and then Richard Belzer accepted the award on his behalf. Uh, and then perhaps for me anyway, one of the, the best uh, moments of the entire evening was a special announcement by our friends from Glock, uh, the handgun company. They provide about 65% of all the handguns here in the United States to law enforcement officers. And uh, Glock uh, came through with a $2 million gift that they announced at the gala for the National Law Enforcement Museum. Wow. So Glock is now firmly on board, one of our major partners. Uh, that's actually the third largest corporate donation we've received. Uh, we had a $3 million gift from both Motorola Solutions and DuPont. Uh, and now Glock is the third highest uh, corporate donor to the museum campaign and our 10th uh, million dollar plus donor to the uh, museum campaign. So that's another very significant milestone that we've now reached uh, in the campaign. So just a few of the highlights from the evening. Uh, by the way, if people want to uh, see some of the photos from that event, I've posted them on my personal Facebook page. Uh, just go to Craig Floyd on Facebook and you'll be able to see photographs from the evening, uh, the award to uh, uh, Dick Wolf uh, received by Richard Belzer, uh, Vince D'Onofrio, great group shot of him there and several others. So uh, please feel free to visit my uh, Facebook page if you want to see more. We'll hook, we'll hook up with you and uh, we'll get on to that. Um, thanks for mentioning that. Now, uh, what's going on with the combined federal campaign, the CFC? Well, the, the combined federal campaign for, I don't know, we're probably nearing 20 years now that we've been part of the combined federal campaign. 
Uh, this is the way federal workers uh, donate uh, to the uh, various charitable causes of their choice. Um, and over the years, we've averaged about $100,000 a year in CFC contributions to the Memorial Fund. So okay. uh, certainly we love to see more federal uh, employees, especially federal law enforcement, people that work for uh, federal law enforcement agencies, make a contribution to the Memorial Fund. And you can do that. Uh, our number is uh, CFC number 11631, 11631. Um, and I, I know all of our federal workers know how to do that. Uh, there's quite a thick catalog of uh, charities of choice, uh, but ours is uh, 11631. And we are part of America's charities uh, in case they categorize it that way. I'm not, uh, I haven't seen this year's book, but America's charities is the, uh, the group that kind of oversees our, uh, our charitable giving through CFC. For those that uh, are not federal workers, don't have the option of making a CFC contribution, um, but do workplace giving uh, through your employer. You can do that through uh, www.lawmemorial.org and then forward slash CFC. So uh, that's another way that people can make contributions uh, to the Memorial Fund through workplace giving. All right, Craig, we're going to take a break here. We're going to come back after this word from Microsoft. We're going to be discussing the law enforcement department and agencies and law enforcement fatalities for October of 2011. We'll be right back.